So if you begin to look at the numbers of people with TBI, if you, uh, the, theoretically, there's somewhere, if you accept the CDC numbers, somewhere between three and five million is a reasonable estimate. Um, and that's usually, that, those numbers are based on visits to an emergency room. Um, what we know is that that's a significant undercount. It's an undercount because it doesn't include those folks who go to a physician. It doesn't account for those who are injured on a ball field. It doesn't account for kids who don't tell anybody that they fell off their bike when they were lying on the ground for a significant period of time um, before um, anybody noticed them or before they got up and walked out. It doesn't talk about folks who have been assaulted, okay? Indeed, in studies, um, published studies that have been done, um, <clears throat> there's one study that was published in 06 uh, they did a catchment area study in, in, in New Haven of about 5,800 people. And though there was a question in the study, have you ever experienced a, a, a blow to the head in which you lost consciousness about, the number was somewhere close to, a little above 7%. In studies that we do, uh, people walking into our offices where we have ads in local newspapers looking for normals as comparisons for our folks with TBI, we've also run into that 7% twice. In a study we did in two regular schools in New York City, one was a special school for bright kids in science and math, and the other was a normal, quote, New York City junior high school. I don't think there is such thing as a normal New York City junior high school. Um, we screened somewhere around uh, 200 kids, um, and then the ones that came out positive, we did neuropsych testing on. We had two uh, neuropsychologists blindly look at the scores on these evaluations and then come to agreement on whether or not these kids were impaired or not, and if their impairments were s consistent with a TBI we found that the number was 9%, okay? And this is in normal schools, kids just there, okay? Um, so <coughs> the, um, if you extrapolate those numbers, okay, there should be somewhere around 21 million folks in this country with a TBI, not three to five million. So it's a huge, huge number. Um, Indeed, if you look at the numbers, there should be somewhere around 500,000 kids identified in special ed with a TBI. There's somewhere around 20, 20 to 25,000. So kids are not being identified. Indeed, about um, 15 years ago, we had a grant from New York State Department of Education in which we did all the training in the New York City schools. And I had a, a SWAT team who were of a, a group who would then go in and if a mom or a teacher called in that they, quote, had a kid with a brain injury, we'd bring the child in and test them and do what we could do. And each year we probably tested around 175 kids it struck me each year, so five different times we replicated, that the time between when we finally were referred a child, the interval between the referral and the injury was five years. So these kids were sitting in their classrooms for five years, not learning, nobody picking that up. Now that, I think, goes on day in and day out all over the place. So. The problem is, is rampant, and the problem gets um, um, compounded because schools don't want to identify any more kids with problems, so to speak, because they don't have any money either to identify them or once they've identified them to do anything with them. So you really have a double-edged sword here in terms of who's going to pay for this. At one end, schools don't want to put the money into identification and ultimately treating, okay? 
At the other end, if you don't do that, then what do you have? You have failure. You have unemployment, you have homelessness, you have psychiatric disturbance, you have criminality, and you have uh, substance abuse. So at some point, somebody is paying for this, okay? So you're gonna, your early interventions essentially become prevention for failure. And so it seems to me that if you're talking about using tax dollars in order for something of benefit, this is somewhat of a no-brainer, so to speak.